High on a hilltop, on the edge of the forest, was a man with a beard and the moves like Chuck Norris. I don't know which hilltop he's on. Maybe that one over there. Hey, you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. G'day folks, it's been more than six months since I last reviewed an Olight and today I'm excited to be back reviewing the Olight Warrior 3S. The Olight Warrior 3S is a tactical torch made by Olight. It has a maximum output of 2300 lumens and a maximum throw of 300 meters. Now before I go into the details of the torch, let me tell you that there is an Olight flash sale where everything is discounted, including this Warrior 3S starting tonight, the 17th of July, and ending on the 21st of July. At the time of filming, I don't have all the details of the sale, but there will be a link to the sale in the video description below this video for you to click on, and if you miss the sale, well don't stress, because I can still get you a discount of 10% at any time outside the sale. All you need to do is use my discount code RF10 at the checkout to get that 10% off. But that code won't work during the flash sale. Now, back to the torch. The Warrior 3S has six modes. They are Moonlight, Low, Medium, High, Turbo and Strobe. Let's break down these modes individually. Turbo mode is 2300 lumens for 2.5 minutes and then it throttles down to 800 lumens for 160 minutes and then 250 lumens for a further 39 minutes. High mode is 800 lumens for 166 minutes and then 250 lumens for 39 minutes. So basically high is the same as turbo but without the initial jolt of turbo at the start. Medium mode is 200 lumens for 13 hours. Low is 15 lumens for 130 hours. Moon mode is one lumen for 55 days. Now, turbo and high modes are the most suitable for hunting and provide adequate brightness, although the light is quite a flood. It's a flood light and not such a tight spotlight, but it is ideal for hunting and also for, for nighttime wildlife photography. Medium mode is great for all different types of nighttime exploring, including searching for nocturnal wildlife and is suitable for some forms of hunting. Low mode is ideal for everyday use around the house, around the camp, hiking out around the bush, fishing, hunting, etc and with 130 hours of power you won't be left stranded. Moon mode provides just enough light to see where you're putting your feet and is ideal where a stealthy approach is required. Whether it's nighttime Murray cod fishing where you need to change lures but you don't want to shine the bright light on the water or a full police operation where nighttime movement is required and needs to be undetected, moon mode has got you covered. If you're lost in the bush, moon mode will give you enough light to keep you, uh, to keep you going for 55 days and you'll be able to see where you're putting your feet, no worries at all. Strobe mode is particularly ideal as a defence tool and when it is shined in the attacker's eyes, even in broad daylight, it is likely to dazzle the attacker and slow them down. Now the biggest upgrade of the Warrior 3S is the S, and the S stands for sensor. That's a proximity sensor and it's located in the front of the torch. This allows the torch to throttle down when an object is too close to it, preventing that object from catching fire. And yes, O-lights can definitely set things on fire. Just have a look at this clip from one of my nighttime fishing videos last year with the O-light batten torch where I set fire to my shirt. I smell something burning. You're not going to wouldn't read about it. I got me O-light and I thought I'll shine it through my flannelette shirt like this so they can see me rod tip and I was looking at it for a couple of seconds and this smells something burning my flannelette shirt was catching fire it was burning it's smoking look look at the holes can you see the, can you see the burn marks on my shirt there that's from shining me O-light through me flannelette shirt <laughs> Now a couple of other features worth noting are the protruding bezel at the front which is ideal for smashing glass windows if you happen to see an animal or a child locked in a, in a car. Also the lights on the button on the side indicating the battery level or the brightness setting that you are on. And the nylon case that be attached to your belt is also a very neat addition to this torch. Now let's wait till the sun goes down and go and play with the torch and see how well it performs. Now move forward you little buggers. Let's walk over towards them a bit. There we go. Okay, 
Lord on him.